well, before we learned how to find the length of a chord, let's review what a chord is. Here's a circle. Here's a chord. A chord is a segment in a circle, and it's generally not the diameter. It's another segment in a circle that's not the diameter. Because the diameter is easy to find, right? So you would only need to do this if it's not the diameter. Okay. So the formula to find the length of a chord is A equals R, which is radius, times the square root of 2 minus 2 cosine alpha. Do you want me to prove that to you? I know, haven't you? Okay, here's what it has to do with. If you have a chord in a circle, um, generally that chord is associated with some sort of angle in degrees. And the angle in degrees is the, the angle of the arc or the angle of the central angle here. So that would be the angle alpha that you're using in the problem. So to find the length of a chord, you're actually just finding side A using sides B and C. But it just so happens that sides B and C are both the radius, so they're both the same length R. And so if you use law of cosines and you plug in R for both B and C, it simplifies to this. Okay, so it's basically law of cosines with B and C are both equal to R, and this is what it comes out to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this example together. A regular pentagon is inscribed in a circle of radius 6 inches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, with a radius of 6. Okay, what is the length of the side of the pentagon, uh, the length of one side of the pentagon, I should have said that, to the nearest tenth of an inch. Oh, I finally actually used a unit on a problem, six inches, amazing. Okay, so if it's a regular pentagon, do you remember what that means? Yeah, regular pentagon means all of the sides are the same length. It also means all of the angles are, the, are equal as well. So all sides and angles are equal. Because they didn't give us an important piece of information in this problem. What did they not give us that we need to plug in right here? The angle. However, we can easily find the angle because we know that we can split the pentagon into five equal triangles. And so that means that the angles are all five equal angles that go around the entire circle. Perfect. So to find our angle alpha, we just take 360 and we divide by the number of sides in our regular pentagon, which is 5, and we get an angle. So what would that be? Okay, so 72 degrees for the angle. Now we go ahead and use our formula. A equals radius. Did they give us the radius? Yes, they did. 6 times the square root of 2 minus 2 cosine 72 degrees. Put that in our calculator. And I find that the arc length is apparently 7.05. It says the nearest tenth of an inch. So 7.1 inches. Yeah. Is that a logical answer? Remember that radians means that there's... Remember the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius? So the circumference would be 2 times 6 times pi. So that would be 2 times 6 is 12 times pi. So it would be between 36 and 40 inches all the way around. So if there's 5 chords, 5 goes into 48 times. Now, of course, the chord that's right there is shorter than the arc length. So if the arcs are going to be between, you know, 7 and, well, I can't, think. for some reason I had it and now I can't remember. So it was like between 36 and 40 inches divided by 5 would be between 7 and 8 inches for the arc length. So does the length of the cord make sense that it would be about 7.1 inches? See, I'm just going through any time you do any sort of problem that's kind of a story type of problem, a situation that you can think about, you should always stop and think about, does this answer seem logical? So, okay. 
Um, I don't know what application problem I had in mind because I have nothing written down on my notes. So, do you care if we find an application problem for the length of a chord? I'm, I'm assuming if I put it on the notes that that might mean you might run into such a problem on your assignment. Yes. So, yeah, so anyway, I think we're good. I think I'm done. <laughs>